Please wait. Your Total Car Review episode is loading. So next, what we're going to do is, we're going to put the handles on the door, all the lock mechanisms, I think I've got all the screws there. Let's crack on, also got the chrome strips for that, so let's do it. First thing you need is these to go in here to hold the uh, lever arm on, so two of these, he says should just push in, and no, it's going to require a bit of filing. Quite difficult to get in those. Uh, I think it's mainly because there's paint and filler around there. Well, not filler, uh, just paint. So I've had to scrape it out a bit, squeeze them with them, and they're going in a bit better. So let's get the other one in. Now, as you're aware, these parts can make a lot of jingles. Now, once that's bolted in here and we're driving, the last thing you want is that noise. So I'm going to use another one of my top tips, a bit of lagging tape to run across there and you've got a long arm that comes all the way across here. So we're going to run that across there as well to prevent any jingling. If you watch the video, I use the lagging tape around here to stop that rattling. That's just that. I'll be tightened up when the door card's on. So I'll run a bit of this on and then we'll be uh, on the way with the locks. Next thing we're going to do is run a strip across there, but as you can see now that will move and then when we're driving, there'll be no rattle. That's just making that because it's hitting the inside, but that'll all be fixed on. Should eliminate all rattle, all rattle. Now the idea is obviously that goes on and you've got all that rattle covered by that. Stick with me, kid. Stick with me. <laughs> Car's gone in shelter because somebody today clearly doesn't want me to do any work because it's raining. See the spots on the roof? While the rain dies off, there's only one thing we can do and that involves this. That's hot. Lovely though, lovely. Just while the rain dies down, I thought I'd take the moment to tell you what I've got for the doors. Now, by this long box, you've probably guessed it's a seam strip of some sort. <coughs> Ginger cat walking near me. Gonna be in the video, mate. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Right, go away. So yeah, these are the strips. Now, my advice to you is if you buy a mini and your chrome doors, outer door strips and inner strips are in good shape and order, my hell off soaked. If they look good and they're in perfect order, don't bin them because for four strips, yeah, they cost £75. Now, most people will be like, oh, you're mad to spend the nice money. I can't put rusty parts back on a car. You know that. And for anyone that's seen me put a lock on the car for the boot, that was simply just to make sure everything lines up. That will be coming off and getting sprayed gold. So, let's have a look at the chrome strips. They're even labelled, so you've got outer right hand, outer left hand, and then the other ones on the other side. Inner door, inner door. They must be the same. It must not really matter with those. Just look at the the beautiful chromeness on there, and all the new velvety feel. So, and this is one one big thing that I did when I was buying a mini, which I don't really advise people to do. Don't look at the beautiful parts of like chrome bumpers and chrome grills and think, oh, it's it's twenty quid. It's it's 40 quid here. Actually have a look at the parts like screws, nuts and bolts. The nice looking parts are cheap, bare necessity parts that you need to rely on, very expensive. So if you're gonna buy a mini and do what I've done, one, be prepared for big bills if you're gonna, if you're gonna subcontract out the welding, the, the spraying. How many people can say they've got a car on the road that they've built themselves. I looked at these at the time and thought 15 quid each, but when you start adding up how much you spend it, Oh, for God's sake. 
Just look at this, just look at this. I don't know whether you can see that right now, but it is raining. Oh, two minutes ago I was out there making videos. Great. Now guys, this next part I'm going to show you, it's going to mean a lot to me and I'm not, th this is not going on until all the cars built and everything is done on it. Final piece to complete in the jigsaw puzzle, it's now finally finished and that is the classic black and silver registration plate. The 85 PWD for those that can't read. I think the rain's stopping now, so let's head back out. So the bolts I've ordered to go in here are too long because they're stopping the window coming down and it does say on the box cut to required length. So I'm cutting them to required length. If anybody struggles once they've cut, cut the screw to get it in there, a little top tip, if you file the end into like a cone shape, it should grab on the thread. So I'm just going to cut a load of these and get them ready. I've cut those down to about that length in theory. These should now go in. So, let's go this one. So when it's done, it should look like this. So obviously that will be there when it, all the locks tied in. I can't put the chrome locks on because you've sent the wrong screws. So that is the idea when that pulls, there's no rattle. There should be no rattle. That rattles now because there's nothing on. Chrome strips, I'm going to bang this one. This is the left hand outer. We're going to pull that on now. As this goes, it should just push on. In a strip, there's a universal, they fit both sides. Should just, he says, click into place. Voila! We have a fully functioning window strip. Look at that. Perfecto. Beautiful chrome door handle time. They're going on. There is a knack to this to get in them in because of all these levers without scratching the body which I will try to teach you in style. First of all, get your gasket, figure out which way it goes on, and without breaking it. Later access the lock is through here. First thing you want is your cut down screw. Mm -hmm. Your washer, your spring washer. Use of the mouth is good when you've got this held by the other hand. Another gasket now that looks like this, and that is what your chrome door lock should look like. There's it fixed in there and there. Guys, thanks for watching this episode. The subscriber rate is starting to really get to me now. It is so rubbish. Joking, it's amazing. Nearly 600 subs, 1,000. There is a giveaway, a massive giveaway. No, not a massive giveaway. It'll be a respectable giveaway. But thanks for watching this episode. Now, if you, yes, you, right in this lens, you want your video, mi video, your mini, or car, I'm opening it to cars, your project car, your mini or your daily drive, what you put, take pride in your daily car. If you want it featuring in this video or one of my videos, what you need to do is follow me on Instagram. It is in the description and it is also on my channel page. You'll see my email address, it'll say business inquiries only. That's a load of rubbish. So send me a video of you walking around your car, even commentate on it if you want to save me doing it because I might say something that you don't like. What you need to do is then shout my YouTube channel out on Instagram, tag me in the post, then what I will do is I will go through the big long list and each week in every episode one of the cars will be featured. Now this week unfortunately, 
none of you lovely people have sent me any videos, so I'm afraid nothing's getting featured other than my face telling you what to do. Send it, get it done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Give me a bit of dong, because I love a bit of dong. And by that, I mean ding dong that bell, because that way, every time I upload a video, you will get a notification on your phone and you can see my lovely face again in style. So on that note, goodbye.